morning. Happy Saturday, the 11th of April, day 23. You may have seen in the last video, I got the day slightly wrong. Um, but then again, every day seems to be blending in with the next, really, doesn't it? Um, hope you're well. Hope you're keeping well. Um, dare I say it, touch wood, I absolutely now think our family have come through the other side. Thank you very much again for all of your messages. Sending healing and love and light to all of those people who may, um, uh, may be feeling unwell or stressed or whatever it is at this time. Um, looks like our government are going to lock us down for another three weeks. It is what it is. You know, we, we, we change our relationship to it. We change our mindset to it and just see it as an opportunity through isolation to grow and through isolation is freedom. So, you know, we can all do things no matter what opportunities we have. If you're in a one bedroom apartment with nowhere to go, open the window, play some music, build a positive energy. Um, around you if you live in a house get out in the garden you know even if it's even if it's not that warm at the moment put a you know I always wear this hoodie it's my favorite hoodie my wife goes nuts with it as soon as it's in the wash it's out it's in the wash it's out but you know get outside and, and wrap it warm if you have to or but stay obviously <coughs> within your vicinity stay within your areas and listen to the social and 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 the and the information that's given to us and we can get through this um the numbers now are starting to get startling for some people i was reading this morning about america you know but please consider there are billions of people in this world and um somebody wrote to me the other day about worrying about going to the shop social distancing keep essential but there's probably more chance of you dying getting hit by an airplane um, going to the shop than actually of the coronavirus. So just remember that when you're doing all of the right things and you're, you're keeping yourself healthy, keep your immune system up, you know, stay stay inside, you know, and, and save lives. Stay safe, stay home, save lives. You know, that's the that's the message here. But I want us to take some positives out of it. I want us to, to think about how we can really help ourselves this morning when we wake up and we, you know, brush our eyes and I've had a bit of a shower and yeah, I feel good today. In fact, I've probably got too much energy um, today, but we have to stay positive and positive is about just being in the moment, just appreciating everything we have. I'm looking out my window, you know, you can see the sun coming in through this window and I'm really looking forward to going out today and weeding the garden. Now, if any of you would know me, that would be something you wouldn't think that would come out of these lips I'm looking forward to going to do some weeding in the garden I'll just say it again and the reason for that is is that I'm going to do it mindfully I'm going to go out there I'm going to take my time even if I pull two or three weeds up an hour and sit and chill and relax I know I've got to do the whole garden but I'm going to do it in my own pace my own time very mindfully I'm going to enjoy it because I'm going to look forward to some breaks and a bit of lunch and about four o'clock maybe a little glass of red wine or something like that and sit and chill and you know maybe maybe light a fire out the garden tonight or whatever the scenario is but I'm really looking forward to it I'm really looking forward to achieving something today and that's weeding the garden. It's not achieving things like, you know, changing the world or whatever. It's changing my world in my garden. But I'm contextualizing everything and trying to get positive um, uh, uh, emotions and positive things out of the things that I'm doing. Simplicity, the small things in life. And that's all about mindfulness. It's about understanding and being appreciative of everything we've got in the moment breath by breath not you know thinking all oh, this or thinking that just be here appreciate that I have the ability to be able to go and weed the garden today you know two years ago I was saying to my wife last night two years ago we were running restaurants and bars my Friday night would have been horrendous running around like a headless chicken but now um, it's the complete opposite but I enjoyed it. Like last yesterday, I, I went out for a long walk, my one walk a day. I do my videos. I did some readings. I did some bits and pieces, whatever, blah, blah, blah. And then last night we came home. I had a shower. I was laying on my bed at half past nine last night, eight o'clock. Just fell asleep. Beautiful. And woke up this morning feeling completely revitalized, ready to go again. Just be mindful. What I want to talk about today, though, again, and we're going to do a little meditation. It's going to be quite a short one today. You can nearly have a day off. All right, you've worked hard, you can have a day off. Um, it's about positive futures. Now, mindfulness is about being in the moment. So not worrying about the future or dissecting the past, but just giving yourselves this, this feeling of, of, of future. 
It's about, you know, being able to consider where you want to be in the future. And not worrying about it, but positive future. What positive things are you doing today to enhance your future tomorrow? Not worrying about the future. Not worrying about oh, what am I going to do and how am I going to get there. And just making positive changes to yourself and positive changes to you and your future. So today we're going to do a positive future meditation. Now, some people might think there's, you know, not a lot, not a lot of light at the end of the tunnel, and you're looking too far ahead. And how are we going to get out of this? And our government hasn't got an exit strategy, so why have I got one? Because the future will come. Everything passes. Stay safe. Stay home. Save lives. Get your immune system up. Keep your sanity through having a different relationship with everything that's going on around you, and not listening to that mental chatter, the mental narrative. We are becoming more mindful every single day. And that's amazing. Well done. Congratulations. Day 23. <clears throat> so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go through a positive future meditation. All right. So as always, I want you to get comfortable. I want you to settle in and allow your body to settle, whether you're sitting or lying. I'm going to put a nice image up. And I'm going to put some nice music up as well. Okay. Now, I'm going to get comfortable as well. But let's, let's just begin closing our eyes and just taking a moment to just allow in our body to settle. Just closing our eyes and just focusing on our breath. Breathing in. And breathing out. And just find that comfortable body position that allows our spine to be long but a natural curve. Just feel the right posture. Now just let your your shoulders and your belly relax. Just let everything relax. And today I'm going to guide you through a package, a practice, sorry, to envisage a very positive future. It's a chance to connect with that place inside us that wants to work towards a life of meaning, fulfillment, clarity and purpose. This is a useful way to consider how we care for ourselves and how we care for others. And how we're going to show up at our best to meet life's challenges. Before we start, I want us to take a full, deep cycle breath in. And then very slowly, just take a long breath out. And at this point, <clears throat> just allow the breath to find its own natural rhythm. In and out allowing yourself to be fully present in the moment resting on your breath breathing in and breathing out being here moment to moment fully present Now I'm going to provide you with some questions to just to prompt some ideas and responses that can truly help us build and find this positive future. And I want you throughout this practice just to let your body, let your mind and your soul feel completely loose and open.
Repeat the questions I offer silently and to yourself. But resist the urge to problem solve and see if anything comes up on its own organically, intuitively. And if nothing comes to mind, well, you can always continue just to rest your awareness and your attention moment to moment, breath by breath, until something does come up. Let's begin. Now I want you to ask yourself, what kind of a future do I feely, feel deeply moved towards? What kind of a future do I feel deeply moved towards? Just notice the thoughts, the feelings, maybe images that have come to mind. Meanwhile, remembering to breathe, breath by breath, moment by moment. Breathing in and breathing out. As you hold this positive future in your mind, what feelings are present at the moment? And I've got some, some further questions to help you explore the future, the future you feel, feel deeply moved towards. How can, I, how can I show up in a way that will allow this positive future to unfold? How can I show up fully for the opportunities that I'm about to encounter? Who do I want to be in relation to others? And what might get in the way? And how can I move beyond that? What's, what are the skills or the capabilities or values that I'll need to get there? And how can I practice and what might practice may support this in the future? Now I want you to see yourself right now, somewhere in that positive future. And reflect on the things that you did 
that enabled you to get there. And see yourself doing some of these things right now. Maybe it's time spending time with the family. Maybe it's engaging in a daily practice that supports clarity and focus. Maybe it's putting your energy into learning new skills. Maybe it's just how you allow yourself to connect with yourself and to connect with others. See those things in your mind's eye and notice what it feels like as you imagine doing them. You can come back to this meditation at any time to rediscover the connection to that place. Step inside and just be in the moment. Just be here, ready to create that positive future. Learn, grow and transform. And no matter what situation we're in, or where we are, or even who we are, we all have the ability to improve our lives in some way. And importantly as well, to improve those lives of people around us. Now can you take this feeling with you as you head back to where we are today? Can we take these thoughts and bring them back to where we are today? Can you allow it to guide you and how you interact with yourself and the world around you? We're gonna finish this positive practice now, positive future, and we're gonna take a full deep breath in. And we're gonna hold it for two seconds and we're gonna take a long deep breath out. Be kind to yourself. Drop in to yourself. And allow the positiveness that's around you not only to shape your future, but to shape the way you are from moment to moment, from breath to breath. Changing your relationship with the things that no longer serve you turning to face your challenges, your emotions, your fears, your anxiety, with loving kindness, and now with a positive way to really, truly start shaping a future that is true to self, that is full of your values, that allows you to complete your soul's purpose with clarity and purpose allowing you to help you help yourself live this happy, balanced, spiritual, aware life. Breathing in and breathing out, moment to moment. When you're ready, I just want you to bring your awareness back to the room and to you and open your eyes and wiggle your fingers. You see, mindfulness I talked about earlier on is a lot of just being and, you know, don't worry about thoughts, but we can use the vehicle of mindfulness and transport it into positivity and into thoughts and the way we're going with things. And although on times at the moment we feel the uncertainty of the future, we know that by doing some of the small things in our lives and changing our relationships to a lot of the things that doesn't serve us anymore, 
we can start shaping our future today, but not worrying about it, knowing that we are getting ourselves into the best position we can to enable us to move forward. And this meditation would have conjured some of that up. As always, have a lovely day. Day 23. Thank you for the support, love and healing and everything. I'm giving it back to you now. Feel the healing. My hand's really hot here. I'm sending healing and love for you now. Everything is energy. God bless you. Be love and give love. Have a lovely Saturday and I'll see you tomorrow, day 24. Take care. Goodbye. Just forgot. <gasps> How could I forget? I hope you haven't turned off. If you have turned off, you're not seeing this. So I'm just going to try and get you to turn back on. All right, you've turned back on, or if you're already on. Good morning, Julian. I love you. Good morning, Julian. I love you. And I love you too. Take care. Have a lovely day. Bye-bye.